Joey Sly, the kicker, stands ready. And we are underway in Southern California. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. to throw right away and the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there there weren't really any throwing lanes but the best part for him he's got second and third down to fall back on so after the incompletion on first now second and ten Herbert and this is caught first catch for Keenan Allen and they're able to get this one across the 35. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's third and four now. Good, sure, hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he was able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? On third down, here's Eckler. And he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three, it leaves him with fourth and one. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. They'll run for it with Eckler. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. I don't believe that that was called right here in the moment. I believe this was called during practice this week, that he was going to decide to be aggressive even on his own side of the field. Just you mean because it's the opening drive? Maybe they had this scripted? I think that he just talked about it with his team and said, listen, I'm confident in you. If we end up in this situation, we'll go for it early just to set a tone in this game. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. To throw again on second down. Herbert on the screen. This is Eckler. Shifts by him. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. That one a first down pickup of eight. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second and seven, Herbert. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 12-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Going back to Allen. He's got him again. And the Chargers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Try to punch it in with Eckler. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. We're scoreless after one. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Herbert now. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. 
Now Herbert, third and goal. And he's got it. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. And that big game may just change the thought process here on fourth down. I think in the red zone, they might now consider going for it on fourth down. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he's not going to get there. They tackle him at the two. They tried to let the fullback pound it in between the tackles, but he stopped up short. And on the opening drive of the ball game, the defense comes up with a goal line stand. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, not a game that you're going to go crazy about, but when you start at your own two-yard line, any type of space is good for the offensive guys. Yeah, you just can't go backwards from here. They did it. Now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down. On second down, a run with Gibson. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed a maximum effort from minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone, so they could use something here on third down. Hal throwing on third down here. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Here's Tressway now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out of there. And this is a pretty good kick. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. It'll go as a gain of 11 at a Charger first. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Herbert. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. No surprise there. Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. Well, when you time those screen passes perfectly, they can work perfectly, but that time it took a little too long to develop. And you zeroed in on exactly what makes that play go. Timing, because if the timing's off at all, those unblocked defenders coming at the quarterback, they'll put him on the deck. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call through the offensive coordinator. You like looking at that section yeah, a heck yeah, of a lot better going, than trying to figure out third and long. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Herbert operating from the red zone. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked up by Cameron Curl. And the Commanders are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On 
the ground with a tight end. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Now we've got whistles here before the snap, and I believe this is going to be on Washington. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. After a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. First and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at their own 25-yard line. Second half starts with a run by Gibson, and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Second down and a run by Robinson. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They give it off here to the tight end. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. That's Samuel caught left side. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Robinson up the middle. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. A give up the middle to Gibson. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They hand off to their big tight end. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. They'll run with Gibson, and he will have a first down here at about the 40. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. This time they'll throw it with Hal. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. Touchdown, Washington! Logan Thomas. 40 yards. And the Commanders have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. Oh, 
Extra point by Sly is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Sly set to boot it. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. And we've seen drive after drive come up empty for them, and they've yet to dent the scoreboard, yet still right in the middle of a one-score game. So this is where you absolutely have to forget everything that's happened in your previous drives. They don't matter right now. You just mentioned it. One-score game, this drive here can erase all of what happened previously. Throwing on second down. Herbert, quick slant complete to Keenan Allen. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have a few men in the box there. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. Now it's Herbert. He'll get this to Eckler. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. That's caught, and it's Eckler again. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and ten. Back to throw here, Herbert. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. Picked off by Cole Holcomb. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he's going to be met at about the 43. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw, out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Gibson. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. 
This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning. Game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. So a victory here for the Commanders. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. Well, you know what they say. It's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. So long, everybody.